So this is the auricular protocol for any type of the shoulder problem. So we can see in this protocol what's the theme of this protocol. Number one, we are treating entire spine. सबसे पहले हम पूरी पूरी स्पाइन को ट्रीट कर सो नाउ वी कैन सी द फर्स्ट वी आर ट्रीटिंग एंटायर स्पाइन इन द ऑरिकुलर के पंक्चर वी नो दैट दिस इज स्पाइन हम जानते हैं कि ये हमारी स्पाइन सो लेट्स सी हियर सो रिमेंबर वन थिंग व्हेन वी स्टार्ट द ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ट्रीट फ्यू पॉइंट्स पहले हमें कुछ पॉइंट ट्रीट करना है वो कौन से पॉइंट है We can see in this image. We need to start our treatment with the spine. We need to start our treatment with the helix and the spine. So the first step, we are treating the spine. So we know this is the spine, Chinese spine. We got Chinese spine ending here, and definitely we talk about the French spine. French spine is going till the last. French spine last on jati hai. Okay, so we are treating the Chinese spine. So we can see we can put four five point here in the sequence. Ham char point point hi haan laga sakte hain sequence mein. So you can see this is for cervical spine. And here for thoracic spine. And here for lumbar spine. So the question comes when the person is having shoulder pain, why we are treating cervical spine? Then the question number two, why we are treating thoracic spine? Then the question number three: Why we are treating the lumbar spine? हम क्यों treat करते हैं? So we are treating the cervical spine because we already know brachial plexus coming from the cervical area, and the branches the of the brachial plexus there are many branches: musculocutaneous nerve, axillary nerve, radial nerve, ulnar nerve, <coughs> median nerve. There are Pass taking exit from the brachial plexus, so definitely we have to treat the cervical spine. Maybe person is having problem in the cervical. Maybe there is some compression in the cervical vertebra. So definitely we can we have to focus on the cervical spine. हमें cervical spine तो focus करना होगा. Now why we are treating the thoracic spine? I have seen very normally if the person is having pain, we will be finding the tenderness at the T two, T three level. Most of the time, T three level. <clears throat> thoracic three level. So we can find the tenderness in the thoracic three level. We can trace. If you go on the both side of the thoracic three, आप thoracic three के दोनों तरफ चले जाओ और वहाँ पर trace करोगे, आपको एक tender point मिलेगा. That is also trigger point for the shoulder pain. So that's why it's also important. <clears throat> to treat the thoracic spine, not only this. If the person is having some cardiac problem, so the person also will be having the pain in the shoulder. And as per the TCM diagnosis, neck is connected with the liver, and shoulder connected with the lungs. It means lungs also connected with the shoulder. So how can we? How can we skip the thoracic? We can't skip thoracic. हम इस thoracic को skip नहीं कर सकते। जब lung भी कंधों से connected है, heart में भी हमारे कंधे का दर्द हो सकता है, तो we can't skip the thoracic spine. Generally, when we look at the thoracic spine, so we can see in this image. Here, so we can see this is the thoracic spine. <coughs> this is the scapula. ये हमारी scapula bone है.
the scapular bone starts from the T2 level, thoracic 2 level till the T7 level. ये हमारे स्केपला की रेंज है फ्रॉम द थोरेसिक टू वटेबरा टिल द थोरेसिक सेवन वटेबरा स्केपला इज अवेलेबल राइट एंड फ्रॉम द मिड लाइन इट्स थ्री चुन अवे बीच से ये तीन चुन दूर होती है थ्री चुन अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर लाइन द मिडियल बॉर्डर ऑफ द स्केपला हमारे स्केपला का जो मिडियल बॉर्डर है वो मिड लाइन से तीन चुन की दूरी पर पाया जाता है So we can see here at the upper border of the scapula here. At the upper border of the scapula here, this is the trigger point. If we press this point, this will be very painful. ये बहुत ही दर्द ना दर्द वाला होगा point. If the person is suffering with the shoulder pain, we will see the pain here. So we will plan to treat. Thoracic spine because thoracic spine having connection. We know the T3 is having connection with the lungs. This is the T1, T2, T3. T3 is having connection with the lungs. T5 is having connection with the heart. Our T5 is with heart. T4 connect with the pericardium. So we can see these three vertebras. <coughs> The T3 is having connection with the lungs. T4 is having connection with the pericardium. T5 is having connection with the heart. It means there is some disharmony at this level. It will also reflect in the shoulder pain because shoulder pain is not only movement of the shoulder. The shoulder pain also the movement of the scapula. हम समझ चुके हैं कि shoulder pain केवल shoulder की movement नहीं है. Shoulder pain is scapula ki bhi moment hai. So we are treating the thoracic spine, entire thoracic spine. Now the question comes, why we are treating the lumbar spine? Hum lumbar spine ko kyon treat karte hai? This protocol mein we can see here. <coughs> this is also the, here is the lumbar spine. This is very clear. If the person is suffering with the problem of the liver so there will be right side shoulder pain because liver is connected with the right side liver is connected with the right shoulder with the meridian or with the fascia agar hamare liver mein ya gallbladder mein koi bhi problem hai to right kandhe mein dard hoga as per i have seen uh, few patients they were having right shoulder pain and they also having uterine fibroid in aise kai patient dekhe hain jinko kuch genital problem bhi thi it means the uterus and the genital part also having connection with the shoulder <coughs> so whenever person is having shoulder problem we also treat <coughs> lower spine lumbar spine because at the level of lumbar spine the nerve supply this part spine means not only spine द स्पाइन मीन्स ऑल्सो द पेरीफेरल नर्व स्पाइन का अर्थ पेरीफेरल नर्व भी होती है बिगन सी हेर स्पाइन इफ यू लुक एट द स्पाइन देर टू मेनी नर्व गोइंग हेयर एंड देयर इफ यू सी द लोअर स्पाइन द लॉट्स ऑफ पेरीफेरल नर्व पासिंग फ्रॉम हेयर एंड गोइंग हेयर एंड देयर सो इफ एनी वन इज सफरिंग विद प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द लिवर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द जेनेटल पार्ट it also having connection with the shoulder pain that's why first we need to treat entire spine sabse pehle hame puri spine ko treat karna hoga if you want to treat the shoulder pain aur jab hum shoulder pain ka ilaj karte hain we will tell patient lie down properly and just first you relax yourself sit near the head region aap bhi relax ho jaiye patient ko bhi relax kar dijiye और शांति से उसके कान के पास बैठ जाइए राइट सपोज दिस इज पेशेंट हेड ऑफ द पेशेंट इज हियर एंड आई एम सिटिंग हियर नाउ जनरली आई विल पालपेट एंटायर स्पाइन फ्रॉम सर्वाइकल स्पाइन फ्रॉम थोरेसिक स्पाइन फ्रॉम लंबर स्पाइन एंड आई विल सी इफ देर इज समथिंग एबनॉर्मल वट लाइक मे बी 
some stiffness, some hardness, some nodule. Any like during the palpation, if I have to feel, अगर कुछ गड़बड़ है क्या spine में, कहाँ पर गड़बड़ है? Not yes right. I can take one drop of oil and even without the oil, or I can take powder. Or even without the powder, no need, just for lubrication and keep on dissolving that nodule. Take the two minute time and just first to dissolve that nodule. Aap needle mat lagaye, purant, pehle dheere dheere, very gently, not vigorously, itna pressure mat dheeje ki patient chill hai. More the pressure, better the result, don't think like that. Okay. Just give the very gentle pressure, baby pressure, but keep on giving for two minutes. So what will happen? You will be dissolving the unwanted collection of stress from the points. आप उस जगह से फालतू का स्ट्रेस निकाल रहे हैं. When we are doing this, you are not doing on the ear. You are doing where the problem is. This is just a like a remote button. You are putting, you are switching the remote button, but you are targeting the area which is having problem. So keep on doing for two minutes, three minutes, and treat the entire spine. Where you find knots, any disharmony, any hardness, do there. ध्यान रखिएगा अगर किसी को घाव है, चोट है, वहाँ पर मत करिए। then the next turn comes very important things after treating the entire spine. जब आपने पूरी spine को treat कर लिया, फिर अगली बारी आती है। I will tell you what to treat next. फिर क्या treat करना है? Very important. Then you have to go to the helix. अब आपको helix में जाना है। Helix क्या होता है? We know the helix means the ear boundary. So we can see this the entire ear boundary that is called helix. You have to go in the helix. Now you have to go helix. Mein jana hai. And you have to put one point exactly in the center. You have to put one point in the center. One point, three point, you have to create the three point dauma. You take a three point dauma. You have to put one point here, one point little up, one point little down. So it is called shoulder point one, shoulder point two, shoulder point three. Again, you have to repeat the same process. You keep on pressing these points. Give at least 30 seconds to one minute. Come second, 30 seconds. Se one minute. Ta kasa mein dije. बहुत ही calmly, quietly. Do not do the jerky movements. More the smooth and the gentle movement, better the results. जितना आप gentle और अच्छी movement करेंगे, इसके दो फायदे मिलेंगे. You will get two benefit. Benefit number one, patient will be having more relief. Benefit number two, patient will be very happy and will refer another patient to you because this is very relaxing and no pain. Definitely we will put the needle at the last or the seeds at the last. But this is itself very relaxing. What will happen after doing four, total 4 to 5 minute massage of the ear, entire ear circulation will increase and even needle will not be painful. But initially if the patient is coming, you put direct needle, definitely you might get the results. But needle might be painful for some patients. And the experience will not be that much like Pleasant. कि जैसे आप कि पहले किसी को थोड़ा सा आप sympathetic mood से पहला sympathetic mood में ले आओ from the stressful condition bring him to the relaxed condition we can do with these points. So first we have treated the spine then second we have treated the shoulder one shoulder two and shoulder three point हमने तीन point को treat किया now the next one goes to the muscle relaxation point. Now we will put muscle relaxation point. 
Now you can do the sequence here and there, there is no problem. But muscle relaxation point is very good point because now next turn we have to relax all the muscles. Muscle relaxation point is not only for the shoulder muscles but the entire muscles of the human body. So muscle relaxation point because we know in the five element cycle spleen is having connection with the muscle. So this muscle relaxation point is nothing but the point of spleen. So we can see in the ear, this is the lower chamber. Ye hamari ka lower chamber hai. And on the side of here, this is the spleen point or the muscle relaxation point. If you have done auricular acupuncture, then you might be knowing all the locations. So after relaxing the spine and the helix, now we will do the muscle relaxation point. Now we will do the muscle relaxation point. Ko activate karenge. Again, we will be massaging this point for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Definitely you are investing a little more time, but experience and the results will be really very good. So number 1, spine. <clears throat> number 2, helix. Number 3, muscle relaxation point. Now the, the fourth number we will be proceeding. Abhi hamne jo treatment kiya tha. Abhi hamne in general treatment kiya tha. Now we will be moving to the shoulder. So for that. Now we will be putting the master shoulder point. Ab master shoulder point ko lagane wale. <coughs> so we can see here. In the auricular acupuncture. This cavity. This cavity is like a gutter or fossa. This cavity ko hum bolte hain, scaphoid fossa in the auricular acupuncture. In the auricular acupuncture, we know the head is down and feet is up. Sir niche hota hai aur pair upar hote hain. Or this scaphoid fossa hota hai. This scaphoid fossa means entire arm is here. Our pura ka pura arm yahan par hota hai. Arm means shoulder to finger. So shoulder start from here and finger ends here. So now we want to treat any part of the arm. We can treat using this scaphoid fossa. Hum scaphoid fossa ka pariyo karke apne arm ke kisi bhi part ko thi kar sakte hai. So now, <clears throat> so when we are treating this, <clears throat> so we are starting from the first point we will put here. So this is the point of clavicle as well as SC joint. This is clavicle ka or SC joint ka point. What is SC joint? I will tell you once again. Then we can see the master shoulder, then the shoulder. These three points are very much important. <clears throat> we can put in the sequence one, two, three point. So now we can see in this image, but the SC joint in the during the discussion of shoulder, we have learned about this. So this is the SC joint. We can see the clavicle meeting with the sternum bone and making the sternoclavicular joint. Sternoclavicular joint is very much important. <clears throat> so clavicle meeting with the sternum here and making the sternoclavicular joint. If I want to move the shoulder up, definitely it will go down. If I want to take the shoulder front, I want, this is the protraction. Definitely this will go back. It is like a pivot. Just say, see so then, S A S A. Agar mene kandhi ko upar uthaya, to definitely niche jayega. Or mene kandhi ko niche kiya, to hi upar aega. It, ye see so ki tarah, yani ye meri collar bone hai. If I am raising my shoulder, it is going down. If I am depressing my shoulder is going up. So during the all shoulder movement, this joint is moving. Suppose if this joint is fibrosed, chalked, agar joint chalk hai, 
Now you want to lift the shoulder up, but this is not allowing. Then how will you move the shoulder? यहाँ से movement allow नहीं हो रही है। तो आप shoulder को कैसे move करोगे? नहीं कर सकते। So sternoclavicular joint plays very important role. So the first point we will put that is for clavicle and the SC joint. Then the second point we will master shoulder. Master shoulder means this entire area. And the third point we are putting for shoulder joint, the three points, SC joint and the clavicle, master shoulder and the shoulder joints. These all the three points are in the sequence available in the scaphoid fossa. Our scaphoid fossa is available. Hai. So we can see here in this image. So here the first point, so scaphoid fossa start from here. The first point belong to clavicle and sternoclavicular joint. The second point belong to the master shoulder. Third point belong to the shoulder joint. You can see here again clavicle is written because there are European concept, Chinese concept, right? So clavicle E means European, clavicle C means Chinese, okay, in this way. We know that uh, Dr. French has given different concepts, Chinese has given little yes, different concepts. Kindly mute yourself. Then I will mute everyone. Let's do it. Now we will do it. Now we will do So now, again, when you first you do the massage in this area, when you are massaging this area, on, do not only massage, do the stretching of this area. Stretch here and here. Isko stretch kariye. What is the meaning of stretching? The meaning of stretching, we are opening this joint. Aapko iske stretch karne. To yaha par mar karke, yaha par stretch kar. So we are holding this, this is the scaphoid fossa. Yamar scaphoid fossa. Hai. We are keeping one hand here, one hand up and stretching. Right? Stretch minimum for stretch and release, stretch and release, stretch and release. In the last, we will put here definitely same side. Even we can do both sides, no problem. Stretching can be done both sides. Right, but same side definitely same side because it will work on the same side as per the Chinese concept. So now stretch and release, stretch and release. When you are stretching and releasing, you have to think that you are. अगर यहाँ पर कुछ चिपक गया है, fibrous डोग गया, chalk डोग गया, you are releasing this. Maybe some ligament are giving restriction. No, uh, no need to go in the full length of the scaphoid fossa. Just we can go near a little area like first is SC joint or clavicle, second master shoulder or is shoulder joint. We can go only, we can see this is our, ye hamari kaan ka, ye jo middle diaphragm wala part hai. Okay. Till this level. Can do. Area ko hum kar sakte. Because till this area, we finish all the points which is connected with the shoulder and clavicle. So after that, now we are coming to next point. Abam agle point ki urate hai. Is comfort for size over. Now the very much important point. Now we can see this is the master point of upper limb. Now this is located at in the helix. So we know this is the helix. Ye pura ka pura helix hai. And this is the at the last of the helix that is the master point of upper limb. 
we have to massage properly stretch properly and put the point okay so at the level of where your helix is ending jahan par aapka helix end ho raha hai right you can see we can see this is the helix actually helix is going like this but we are not considering the lobe right now so we can go till here this is the master point of upper limb so master point of shoulder is inside and the master point of upper limb is here so now we'll do stretching and the massage stretching massage so we started our journey from the spine first do i doing the very beautiful observation and the palpation on the spine trying to find out some nodules knots any hardening where we ever find do the massage there to pehle humne apni spine se prarambh kiya tha dono kanon mein kabhi kabhi aisa bhi hota hai ki problem is kandhe mein hai lekin nodule is kaan mein milta hai aisa bhi hota hai problem in the right shoulder but nodule will find in the left shoulder that time person will get result from the left shoulder left ear sometimes it will happen there is no any problem person is suffering with the shoulder pain but here nothing is there sometimes we find problem somewhere else maybe on the muscle relaxation point or when you are doing the treatment before doing the treatment just gently palpate entire ear and see whether some disharmony somewhere then you come to your target problem like suppose i want to treat the shoulder pain i will pay palpate the entire ear oh problem is here but this point is not mentioned no problem you have to treat this point also but the, you have to focus on these points so focus point is spine then the three point of the helix shoulder one shoulder two shoulder three then iska foot fossa where sc joint clavicle master shoulder shoulder now master point of upper limb master point of upper limb now after that i would like to bring a focus at the very important point in the ear we know this is the darwin tubercle hum jante hain ki kaan mein utha hua bhag hai jise hum darwin tubercle kehte hain Okay, that is the Darwin tubercle. Just above the Darwin tubercle, there is a very important point. I will show you in the image. It's Darwin tubercle. It is it is over a very important point. It is which is necessary. It's mandatory to put this point. But this point is not located here. This point is inside here. Means, if this helix is not here above, helix is या अंदर अंदर की बाउंड्री पर ही है लेकिन अंदर ना आई विल सो इन द इमेज व्हाट इज दिस पॉइंट इज ये कौन सा पॉइंट है बताता हूं आपको दिस पॉइंट इज कॉल्ड लेसर ऑक्सीपिटल नर्व वी कैन सी हियर दिस पॉइंट इज लेसर ऑक्सीपिटल नर्व व्हिच इज inside though this is the darwin tubercle just above the darwin tubercle this point is located you have to treat this point for sure aapko it point treat karna hoga so regarding the lesser occipital nerve i will show you one image main aapke liye ek image dikhata hu so we can see this image here बिनो हमारे सिर का ये पीछे का पार्ट है जिसे हम ऑक्सीपिटल पार्ट कहते हैं सो दिस ऑक्सीपिटल पार्ट इन द ऑक्सीपिटल पार्ट वी कैन सी द वेरियस नर्व्स लाइक वी कैन सी दिस इज द लेसर ऑक्सीपिटल नर्व ये हमारे ऑक्सीपुट के को सप्लाई कर रही है नर्व लेसर ऑक्सीपिटल नर्व यू नो दैट जीबी 20 गोल बडर 20 दिस इज द गोल बडर 20 when you in the shoulder pain if you press the gallbladder 20 it will painful 
because of nerves passing from here. So we can consider this is nothing but a gallbladder 20 we are putting in the ear, but this is very important point in the ear. There is a point lesser occipital nerve. We know this point will expel the bend. So and the finally we will put the Shannon point. Shannon point we know there is a point in the triangular fossa. Jo hamare triangular fossa mein paaya jata hai. So this is the triangular fossa. We can divide in the nine part, I mean six parts or nine parts, eight parts. Sorry. Okay, like this. But what do you Just remember one thing. I am dividing this triangle of force in three part only. Upper part, middle part, and the lower part. So this is the upper part. This is the middle part and this is the lower part. In the upper part, in the upper side, there is a Shannon point. This is Shannon point. Hai. So we have to put this point. Shannon point is the tranquilizer point. Like a painkiller, tranquilizer. It will activate your parasympathetic nervous system and it will relax the sympathetic nervous system and will bring the peace and the calmness and the muscle relaxation. Okay. So tell me what was the first point? Write on the chat box. Pehla kaun sa point tha? Ya bataiye. From where we started the treatment of shoulder. First point was spine. Wonderful. Excellent. The second point was Second point, helix, three point is the helix, one point is the mid and two up and down. Then after the helix, what is the next point? Muscle, spleen or the muscle relaxation, excellent. Because we want to relax the muscle, if we want to relax the muscle of any area of the body, you can use this point. Then after that, what is the point? Next, now master. First, is, what is the next? In the scaphoid fossa, first we will start from the sternoclavicular joint and the clavicle. So, first we will start the clavicle ka or SC joint, any sternoclavicular joint. Yes. So, three point sternoclavicular. Shoulder master, shoulder and shoulder joint. Then after that, after that, what is next? Uske baat kya tha? We are coming in the helix again. What are the point in the helix? Master point for upper limb. Yes, master point for upper limb and the luxor occipital nerve which is resembling gallbladder 20 above the scar above the darwin tubercle and the final point is final point is shannon excellent i will show you here once again and conclude <coughs> entire protocol here so first we are treating the person we are treating the spine doing the very gentle and wonderful massage palpating observing Finding the knots and any discoloration, any disharmony, any hardness, and dissolving that. Spending some time here. So, this is the starting of the treatment. This is our treatment. Then we are going on the helix. So, we are choosing three points one point in the center, one point little up, one point little down. So, this is the shoulder point one, shoulder point two, shoulder point three. Again, we are doing gentle massage. We can do the massage stretching everywhere. Now after that, again, we are coming back to the front side. Now we will jump to the inside and we will put the muscle relaxation point or the point of the spleen. So our purpose to relax the muscle of the entire body. Then we are going in the scaphoid fossa. 
in the scaphoid fossa, we'll put the point of clavicle and SC joint. So this is the point of clavicle, SC joint, master shoulder and the shoulder joint. Then finally, we are coming to the, not finally, then we are coming to the helix. So master point of upper limb, master point of upper limb, lesser occipital nerve inside and finally Shannon. So this is the protocol for shoulder pain, all tap the shoulder pain. Maybe because of the brachial plexus compression, maybe because of the SC joint not allowing the movement, maybe due to some problem in the cervical spine or some problem in the shoulder joints or maybe in the upper cervical, middle cervical, lower cervical, thoracic area and the lumbar area, wherever the problem is, we can treat with the help of this protocol. Done. So enough for today. Now we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.